hi good morning everyone let's get started with our next training topic which is heterogeneous system copy in this training we'll be seeing what is a heterogeneous system copy and under what circumstances under what scenarios we use heterogeneous system copy okay so let's get started okay so basically when do we need to perform a heterogeneous system copy when we are moving or copying an SAP system to a new environment and in the new environment the source and target will use a different operating system and database so that is an example of heterogeneous system copy okay change of hardware architecture will be involved in many cases say for example you are running on say HP hardware you want to move it to AIX or you want to move it to say Red Hat Linux or SUSE Linux or any other operating system so you are changing your operating system and when you change the operating system say for example going from HP Unix to AIX the hardware has changed so that is one of the possibility along with the OS and along with the OS and database migration along with the source and target migration so basically the operating system and the database depends on the OS and DB versions so in some cases an OS or DB upgrade might be necessary on the source system itself before a migration can be performed okay so that is uh, about the heterogeneous system copy hit so heterogeneous system copy we also call it as an osdb migration it's a pretty complex process but will over the period of time when by the time you complete this training you will get a good handle on the migration process so depending on the method used for executing the heterogeneous system copy it might be necessary to upgrade the database or the operating system or the source system itself and on old R3 releases like 3.0 even an R3 upgrade might be necessary so this might happen if the target platform requires a database version which was not backward released for the SAP system the decision factors for performance in an SAP system are the parameter settings in the database, the operating system and the SAP system itself. So during an OSDB migration, the old system cannot be simply transported unchanged. So when we are changing the hardware, the changing the OS, changing the database, we need to come up with the new parameter values for the OS and database and basically we are need to tune it by couple of iterations so that is on what is a SAP heterogeneous system copy let's see why we need to perform it so when we are looking at say hardware enhancement we want to improve performance we want to go for new technologies we feel that it is pretty cumbersome or it is costly to maintain the older systems say for example the lack of admin resources in managing the current environment okay and say for example the current environment is getting obsolete it is difficult to get the resource to maintain that environment okay so licensing cost say for example is increased or system is getting uh, OS or database is getting out of support or is getting obsolete so under those scenarios we end up in up in performing an heterogeneous system copy migrations okay so basically we have seen that what it takes to perform a heterogeneous system copy why we get into performing heterogeneous system copy even it is a complex process so we evaluate the pros and cons of 
performing a heterogeneous migration over a homogeneous migration and we make a call and perform the migration so heterogeneous migration sometimes we call it as an OSDB migration as well so over the period of trainings we will be going through the detailed processes of performing a heterogeneous migration thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye